Welcome to Cowes on a wonderfully hot and sunny weekend which has brought out the crowds for Ribex. This is the world's largest boat show devoted exclusively to ribs and it's held every year in Cowes Yacht Haven. This year the show was a sellout and the great weather is a bonus for the exhibitors because it's really brought the crowds in. With 63 exhibitors at this year's show, there was something for everyone. The whole of Cowes Yacht Haven's North Basin was given over to be on water display, with ribs of all shapes, sizes and types on offer. Small ribs, large ribs, leisure ribs and commercial ribs. Whatever you were looking for, there was something here for you. The great advantage of Ribex is the ease with which visitors can try as many ribs as they like out on the open waters of the Solent. This year the Solent was calm so rough water ability couldn't be tested, but the wonderful weather more than made up for that and exhibitors were kept busy with demo trips. Along with the boats there was lots of gear and engines on display. This year is the 100th anniversary of the invention of the outboard engine, as Richard Mannering of Evinrude explained. 1908 was when the outboard motor was invented in America and basically we're here to celebrate that. It was invented by Ollie Evinrood and that's the brand name on our product. And a uh, hundred years on, um, I guess they've, they've changed a bit. Well, yes and no. We have a very old outboard motor here and most people who've seen an outboard motor would recognize that. Essentially, it's unchanged. Of course, with modern demands of power and technology and cleanliness, the actual product is much more sophisticated now, but you'd expect that the same as the motor car has developed. And what about the changes between two-stroke and four-stroke? How do you see that? Well, it's really been driven by emissions. Uh, the uh, market has demanded a product which is much cleaner and greener than it used to be. And one way to do it was to go to the four-stroke route. However, the outboard motor is demanded to be light and powerful, and two-strokes gave that. So we've stayed with that technology and cleaned them up, really with the help of computer technology. So is that the new E-Tech range? It is. It's a two-stroke, which gives you power and performance. It's been cleaned up, it's been uh, given fuel injection and computer control, so it conforms to all the modern regulations. It's not a rib, but we couldn't resist mentioning this new top-of-the-range PWC from Sea-Doo on the Evinrude stand. The RXPX255 has a 255 horsepower supercharged engine which takes it from 0 to 50 in a hair-raising 2.9 seconds. That's faster than a Ferrari. These latest PWCs offer stunning performance and are much quieter than their predecessors, so they don't annoy the sailing fraternity who want peace on the water. If excitement's what you're looking for, then at £11,000 this Sea-Doo has all the performance you could ever want. While Evan Rood was celebrating the 100th anniversary of the outboard, over on the Yamaha stand, they were launching the largest outboard on the market, as Jeff Turner explained. Well, we've come to Ribex this year with the world's largest outboard engine. Uh, Yamaha have introduced a 350 horsepower four-stroke, first in the world ever, 5.3 litres of V8 power for your rib. And what sort of size of rib is this going to be able to power? Well, it's an interesting question because, of course, uh, the engine was designed before the ribs uh, were, were built, if you like, but it's certainly the trend for ribs is getting bigger and bigger, where people used to start with a five or five and a half metre. They're starting with six, six and a half, and quite commonplace now you're seeing eight, nine, ten metre ribs. And you'd find uh, this new F350 on anything really from about 7.8 upwards. This year, Ribex played host to all the latest ribs, including this Tempest nine metre cabin rib from Italian manufacturer Capelli imported by Hockley Marine. Um, this is an Italian rib uh, made by Capelli uh, near Milan and uh, they're producing a thousand ribs a year on, for, mainly throughout Europe and we started importing them last summer. This is the second show we've done, well it's the third show including Southampton and uh, we get quite a response, uh, particularly with the cabin rib and we do a full range right from the very small boats to, to bigger than this. This particular model with everything that you can see would be 82,000, that's including the V80. Uh, they start from 71,000 at a bit with a, a single 300 engine on and we go up from there. Scorpion is a very well known brand of ribs and we talked to Patrick Byrne who has just bought a majority interest in the company. Well, I've been a customer of Scorpion for, for many years, I've had four of them. 
and um, I've admired the brand and the quality of the boats and I love boats and it's been a lucky opportunity for me to be able to do that. And how many ribs have you got here? Uh, we're showing three today and most excitingly we're launching our new model, the 10 metre Sting, which is causing quite excitement, very comfortable upmarket boat that's taking us into a new price range. Scorpions have uh, a very good reputation in the market. They're renowned for uh, their ability to maintain high speeds and, and long distances. Uh, Scorpion ribs currently hold the record for round Britain, round Great Britain, and even more impressively, uh, London to Monte Carlo in just over 60 hours, which is quite something for the driver and the boats who, who did fantastically well. There's no doubt that the ribs on Opera are getting bigger and the engines are getting more powerful. So we talked to Andrew Norton at the RYA about the importance of training. At Ribex this year, as we have done for the last three years, we're doing a training centre taster sessions, which involves getting the members of the public out on a couple of rib craft that we have here to talk to the instructors, go out and see how much fun it is, but also to show them how much fun it is if they're trained. We do three to four hundred people here in a weekend, um, and this week, uh, or this year, sorry, because of the weather, we expect to exceed that. And how popular is training these days? Training in all disciplines of the, on the power side is on the up, uh, which, is, which is great news. Uh, people see it uh, as not such a bad thing to do now. They're protecting an investment, uh, for one thing, but more uh, importantly, I think with family boating, they want to protect their family and their children. So training, especially on the rib side, is up and up, the same as uh, the industry is on the up, up with ribs. So. And do you see a trend in, in, in the size of boats? <laughs> Always getting bigger, it seems. Uh, <laughs> four or five years ago, a six and a half metre rib was quite big, and now that would be an eight metre. Uh, the engines have got bigger, uh, and that's reflected in our training centres as well. Their boats have got bigger, their engines have got bigger as well. Which makes it more important to get training, doesn't it? Yeah, the, the faster you go and everything else, the, the more need for a better understanding of what vessels do at speed. And they are getting faster, but proper training, you can do that properly and safely. This year's Ribex was an undoubted success, with great boats and gear and wonderful weather to entice the visitors. There was little evidence of a financial crisis in the air at this show, and if the weather continues to deliver sunshine, it looks as if sailors and powerboaters will be flocking to the water and continuing to enjoy the best sport in the world. But we'll leave the last word on Ribex to the exhibitors. I think it's a very good show. I think there's a lot of very good products out here. The visitors' response has been tremendous. Ribex is great. Um, it's a lovely opportunity to show uh, the ability of ribs off and to let the general public have an opportunity to ride in these types of boats. It's lovely to be in cows when the, when the weather's nice and uh, it's just, it means that the testing is so much more pleasant for people and this is an on the water show really, so getting out on that water when, when the sun's so good, it's, it's, it's very positive, it's a real good buzz and a, and a good feeling, so it's wonderful to be here. Ribs are the most popular boat in Britain and we specialise and this is probably the best rib show in the world. Well, that's all from us for this week. Next week, we're back to sailing with Jog and Rourke events and the start of the Red Funnel Cows Keelboat Championships. See you then.